Well, that was a tough fielder out there in Dexter, Michigan with Mark Friesen. And uh, we're back uh, with Rhonda Young here in the studio. Rhonda, maybe one of Mark's plays would work out for your troop. Well, it's certainly worth checking out. <laughs> um, when can somebody see your program? We'll be having two uh, productions on November the 29th, an afternoon production, and then an evening production at 7. We'll have another um, show the next that Friday the next day at 7, and then Saturday, December 1st um, at 7. You know, while we were watching the interview with Mark Friesen, and, and those people who watch our program regularly may remember the program we did with Mark way back at the beginning uh, when we did the Hometown Movie Series, um, you had mentioned that you may have seen one of uh, Mark's plays? Yeah, the one out at Crossroads Village. We caught, I was out there with my family one summer and happened to catch that one. It was very exciting. I think Tom Fielder was, was he part of that? I'm trying to remember if Tom was on, if he has worked Crossroads Village before. I know a, uh, it's one of the places where people can work. Guys like Neil Woodward and, you know, people who are involved with the theater here in, in the area. That's a place, you know, there, at least there's a few jobs. There's a little money to be made right. out there. And I think Neil has been... He's one of the regulars there because he's the he's that the, the tall skinny fiddler you know <laughs> right. that you find out at the corner saw in a way. Um, any plans for uh, the Kersley Theater? Are you going to be absolutely uh, in the spring? We're going to take on our first musical in like seventeen years. Wow. We're going to be doing South Pacific. That's a great one. That's it's great. It's going to be a wonderful show. It's already in the planning stages and meetings are being held and. It's going to be very exciting. Are you going to be part of that? I'm going to be the drama director. All right. Um, what what other musicals have you worked with? Have you ever done a musical before? Uh, Annie. Yeah. I worked with Annie. Um, uh, the Sound of Music. Mm -hmm. I have done a little bit of work with uh, that production. Um, but this one will be the first one where I'm actually doing the drama direction. Mm -hmm. um, in a situation like that, when you do a musical, uh, in a school setting, does the uh, the band get involved in the choral group? I mean, is this something yes. where the whole school gets involved? Yes. In fact, there are three. There are going to be three directors. Uh, I'm going to be doing the drama directing. Um, the vocal directing will be done by uh, Rick Bushy, mm -hmm. and Dean Bagnell is going to be involved as well. There, we have a choreographer, and we have someone for costumes. It's, it's a, going to be a very big production for Kersley. You know, that's one of the funny things about, about a community. Like you mentioned Dean Bagnell. I have known Dean for probably 10 years. Had no idea that he had anything to do with theater. I knew him from some political involvement he had had. And I remember going down to an uh, antique auction once, and there's Dean up there auctioning off He's very big with antiques. antiques. <laughs> and now you tell me he's going to be involved in the production. That's, that's funny. You know? He's a very talented man yes. and very popular with the students. Mm -hmm. They really like him. He has a very good rapport with the kids. Um, it would be funny in a, in a situation of a high school, uh, it's similar to sports in that you might get a very talented performer they're only going to be there a couple of years, you know, and usually it's junior or senior year before you really come out of your shell. So it's sort of like, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's discouraging to see them go <laughs> once you find someone who is really able. But there's always the ones coming up, and it's fun to look for those. Um, in a school production, um, do you find changes sometimes? Like somebody starts... Uh, and you think, well, we'll get in a little role. They're not really going to be that very, that good. You know, they're not ready. And in the course of rehearsal, they just blossom. All of a sudden, that little role starts to shine. I've seen it happen. And in cases like that where we can, we like to kind of stretch the part mm -hmm. out a little bit, maybe do a couple of bit things where they can come on and, yeah. and show their talent a little bit. And I think with the, with the review that we're doing, I think some hidden talents are going to come out when we do the review. You know, it's funny when you talk about taking a role and stretching it. Um, stretching is something that we, we, we're all uh, <laughs> familiar with. But um, the, the classics, you know, like Shakespeare or Moliere, so often people treat these as though they've been carved in stone and this was the classic. And, and then they usually do terrible, boring productions of them. <laughs> and yet you read the script and you know Shakespeare, I mean, you know, 
he said, bring back that false staff. Well, people love them. We, we got to make that role bigger, you know. Right. You know, you can tell he just he wrote roles because he had somebody who could do that, and he just wanted to to play it. And Shakespeare can be such good theater if you play it. You don't, you know, present it. You play the thing, you know. And, yeah, I, I find that especially in in cases of Shakespeare, um, not very many people understand it. They don't understand what's going on, and they don't understand that even though it's Shakespearean, it may be a comedy. It's supposed to be funny. There's yeah. things that you can do to make it funny, and I think because of the lack of understanding, there's a lot of fear. You don't get get a lot of people mm -hmm. who want to take part in something that was written by Shakespeare, and that's a shame because uh, he's got some great stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, is there a group you'd like to work with you haven't worked with yet here in town? I've never worked with Flint Community Players. Mm -hmm. And I think if I <laughs> got the time and the courage, I'd, I'd try to get involved with them. You know, I had an interview with Steve Malofsky, their uh, uh, new director. And uh, that was for On the Town magazine. I hope to get him here on the program soon. But I'm very impressed with his attitude. And, and I didn't get to see the Steel Magnolia show, uh, but it got wonderful reviews. It was sold out, and I couldn't get tickets to go see it. So right. that tells you something. <laughs> uh, and it, you know, I have a sense that we may be entering a real strong phase in terms of theater. Buckham is working well. New Vic has survived. Uh, amazingly, they've survived five or six years, whatever. I know, I think time. that's wonderful. Um, well, I did uh, want to thank you for coming on the program. My pleasure. Uh, we've been with uh, talking with Rhonda Young, who is the director of the Kersley Theater, which is associated right. with Kersley High School. Why don't you mention the um, uh, date of production again? Opening night is November the 29th, which is a Thursday, and we will run Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, December 1st, and there will be 7 o'clock. Uh, oh, curtain each night. And where can somebody get tickets? They can call the high school and get tickets through the high school or through uh, our publicity director, which is Drew Hahn. Drew Hahn's your Drew Hahn is your publicity <laughs> director. That's right. Oh, I tell you, this is an incestuous stuff. <laughs> Drew Hahn happens to be directing this very program as we speak. Well, anyways, um, thank you, Rana, for being with us. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Uh, you have been watching the uh, initial episode of Hometown Magazine. We have expanded Hometown Movies to a full hour, and we hope you have enjoyed Drew's World, Flint Theater Live, and our other segments. This is Michael Kelly thanking you. We'll see you next week.